Making Believing is a rich, creative learning program that brings artists, performers and early years practitioners and of course young children together. It is led by Take Art in Somerset with partners Derby Theatre and Surrey Arts supporting the projects in their areas. Making and Believing is a really interesting project because it pairs artists together. You might have a visual artist working alongside a performer for example and this creates a really interesting dynamic. Uh, so the artists of course needed to go into the setting and provide really interesting and stimulating activities for the children and also to work harmoniously with the setting and with the practitioners but they also needed to collaborate with their partner artist. So for me for example I would go into a setting and work with bamboo, sticks of cane and tissue paper and glue and we create big structures. I was also collaborating with a puppet maker, a theatre maker, a singer, a performer, a dancer. These spaces that we created also became theatre spaces uh, or cinemas for example in which the children could perform. For me it's been really important because I've learned a lot of new techniques that I wouldn't even thought of, just little things like tortures, different colour paper, just all things like feathers, how much you can do with all these resources. And the activities that I've learned so far have been absolutely fantastic towards the child's development, especially the special needs children with the lights and the touch and just all the sensory objects that we've used. Yes, I've taken a lot of from this, uh, which I will pass on to all my colleagues. Children are naturally playful. They want to explore through play. Harnessing that playfulness as practitioners, as artists and working with other people, you can get so much more out of life and out of learning. See what happens if I do this and do it with joy. It's been brilliant to see the children making and believing and being able to develop their creativity. And so we have seen those children taking more risks, engaging with more peers and different peers, and also allowing themselves to follow different avenues with their learning, maybe some paths that they wouldn't usually have taken. Creativity is really important because it allows the endless potential of learning for children rather than limiting that learning. We have been working on this project for a number of years and what's been really exciting is that Derby was brought into the programme as an opportunity area. So for us, this has been a lovely strategic connection with other opportunity areas. But what it's also been really helpful for is to develop our early years practice. It's something that we identified at Derby Theatre and within the city with our cultural partners that was an area for development. So by reaching out to meet new artists and then with connecting up with other people across the country and hearing about their practice, it's helped us think differently about early years practice and it's helped us put a focus on and bring more funding in to do more of that work in the future. I've been involved with and coordinating the Making and Believing project and it's been a wonderful experience to form solid relationships with local settings that we can go on with in the future. I think two things strike me from the whole project. One is play. It's been an absolute joy to see the children praying freely and naturally. And the second one is joy. Seeing the joy on the faces of the children when they watch the shows that they've had in the setting has just been priceless. And in particular, one mother came up to me and said that she was so happy that her son had had so much pleasure and got so much joy from seeing the show that she was going to make sure that she took him to the theatre. Running alongside the creative participation were performances of shows especially adapted for an early years audience. Making theatre accessible for very young people by placing it directly into nursery schools, child minding groups as well as theatres was really important for the project. So when we made Square World we were residents in a nursery for a term and we went in there with this idea of a, a concept of you know, um, what happens to a ball in a world designed for cubes. And that's all we went in with. And it's through that sort of constant sort of engagement, creative conversation uh, with the young people that the story really grew out. And I think having made sort of, you know, grown up theatre, in the rehearsal room, we don't ask ourselves all the time, what will the audience think of this point? Or what will the audience think about this? Whereas when making work for early years, we're 
constant. They may not be in the room, but they're, they're, they may not be physically in the room, but they're in the room with us the entire process. Being creative, being playful, being imaginative is a way of being in the world. It's an essential way of living in the world. And it's often thought to be associated only with art subjects, but actually it permeates everything. It's essential to all learning in all areas for children. I think early years practitioners understand in their bones the importance and value of open-ended play, but they've lost confidence. And when the artists came in, many of the app practitioners talked in different ways about feeling that they'd regained their confidence in knowing the value of play and how to support it. The joy of making and believing is we are all learners in this action research project. Uh, we're all encouraged to be curious, to reflect and to question. Everyone from project managing teams to artists to early year settings and of course to the children, everyone is valued as active contributors. In fact, all of us are collaborating as a community of learners. So we come together either online or in person at key stages and we share our learning. And it's this learning that then goes on to influence the next stage of the project. Why is creativity so important? Um, it's because it's the, the self-expression that's come through as we've stood by as adults, layering in the different activities. What can we do next? What can we do next? What are they doing? How can we support that? Where's that going? Uh, what, what can we think? And I think that uh, we're at a place now where we're just um, enthralled with how the morning just flies by and the positive response from the children and feeling like we're all working together, all of us on the same mission, which is to explore, to enrich, to be, and it's just been joyful.